What's up YouTube? Luke here, bringing you guys a walk around video from Can-Am's uh, new model intro where they are releasing this little, not little, this big toy. It is the Defender Limited. And I gotta say guys, um, <laughs> this is one super impressive vehicle, uh, especially uh, for the money. It's it's crazy, honestly, what they're charging for this thing. Um, not so much because it's cheap, but because of what you get for your money. Um, first off, it's the HD10, so this is a 1000 V-Twin, and um, it has a power output boost this year to 82 horsepower, so 10 horsepower increase over last year. Um, all Defender HD10s get that, though, so that's not specific to the, to the Limited. This is uh, actually called the Cab Limited, so this is the entire cab comes standard on this vehicle with the windshield and the whole nine yards. But what makes this one different from the XT cab from last year, there's a number of things, but this one has air conditioning. And that was one of the biggest things people asked for, including us, um, when we saw the, the cab models last season. Uh, it was like, hey, you know, your competitor has air conditioning. You're going to need it too. So anyway, this one has that. But they do it differently, and I'm going to explain that in a minute. Um, so what makes this a limited? Well, first and foremost... It's got really sweet painted plastics. Um, looks great. This color is is just dead sexy. Uh, another thing it has is this sweet wheel package right here. 14 inch wheels. It's got 28 inch um, Bighorn 2.0s. Uh, but these are the coolest factory wheels I think I've ever seen. So that's pretty neat. Another interesting thing about this vehicle is that it is uh, 65 inches wide. So it fits, fits into the 64 inch category, but it's actually 65 inches wide. You can't really see it from this vantage point, but it actually looks really cool. The wheels do stick out a little more and, and it looks pretty tough. Um, so, I mean, if nothing else, you could get away without putting any kind of spacers on it. Um, what that also does though, is it gives it uh, a, a little bit more travel. Uh, I wanna say 12 inches of travel and it gives it some more ground clearance uh, in conjunction with those arched lower arms. So it's pretty, it's a pretty neat system uh, to go to that extra width, gain stability, you know, gain some travel, gain some ground clearance. It's a pretty smart move. Um, this one obviously has an accessory box on the back that mounts to the link mounts above the, the bed, which is cool. But as I said before, this comes with a full cab and uh, this model, you know, Can-Am HD10s, all Can-Am um, Defenders, I'm pretty sure, have the profile cage. So... The, the windshield sits flush um, and the doors integrate right into the cage, which is super slick. Um, one of the important things about this vehicle, the cab, uh, this season is that Can-Am has gone to great lengths to reduce NVH or noise vibration and harshness in the cab. And that's not just, that's not just rattles and stuff but it's engine noise it's rattles it's squeaks it's everything and uh, i can attest to the fact that it it works they're saying it's 60 percent quieter uh than a regular hd10 um man it's quiet you can have a conversation in here like with the person sitting beside you and it's like talking in, in a jeep or something while you're driving down the road it's pretty impressive um <clears throat> these doors here are standard on the cab model beautiful doors they fully seal so all the way around has rubber seals and they've improved them and worked on them so that they seal pretty much like a car uh, and that is for dust intrusion and things like that water intrusion so when you close the door it is fully sealed what they also include though uh, is power windows and that's one of the big differences between this cab model and the competition's full cab air conditioned model this one has power windows it also has and i'll see if i can do this while i'm filming it's not hard flip out windshield and that is standard equipment right there so that's pretty trick and and it's a big value i mean the competition doesn't have that from the factory right now so those are things you would have to add um i really like on the power window setup though that the driver's side door has both switches just like your car that's cool this is plastic in here but it's kind of a rubbery feel plastic um, and it is nicely molded nicely finished the latch works fantastic uh, it's really a slick setup. Dashboard wise, um, I guess before I do dashboard, I'll show you the seats. The Limited gets these trick looking 
brown leatherish cut and sew seats. They're really, really sweet. They look amazing. Um, inside though, we have Can-Am's new um, 7.6 inch gauge, which features a ton um, of new stuff, great information. It's easy to read, it's easy to see. Um, it's really nice. Oh, what do you hear? Oh, that's right. That's the air conditioning kicking on. But let's just have a little look at how this works. Ta-da! Climate control. Seriously, I'm not kidding. Uh, this new model, this new Defender Limited is the first vehicle to have a climate controlled sealed cab. Um, it even has a little power button so you can shut the system off, which I'm going to do now for noise. But, uh, like, think about that. We're at a level now with side-by-sides. This is a sport utility side-by-side -side where we have power windows and climate control. These things are getting crazy uh, in terms of included features and how automotive they are. Got your 12-volt outlet down here. Um, the usual Defender storage box in here. That is removable, of course, as everybody knows. It pops right out in a little lunch kit or toolbox or whatever there's storage down here little little storage cubby hole thing and your cup holders down here there's also a storage bin above uh in front of the driver and it actually has a usb plug in it we were actually searching for that a lot of the guys around here were looking for it and uh the guys at can am had to let us all know where it was this vehicle comes with a winch 4500 pound winch factory installed so that's pretty trick and it has an unlocking, locking rear diff. Obviously it has four x four mode and whatnot. It also has, uh, as, as a lot of the, the defenders do, um, drive modes, work mode, eco mode, eco mode off, which I would call sport mode. So that's pretty neat. And that's all controlled uh, in, a, in conjunction with the gauge from this little D-pad right here. It's what I call it. I don't know what they call it. It's just like a remote kind of thing, uh, dash mounted remote. Um, but it's, it's a D-pad in my opinion, and it does your trip functions, it does your modes, it does all that stuff, and it works really slick. It's so much easier than having to reach in through here, reach around here to get to buttons on the dash. So it's just so much nicer to be able to reach right over here and just get what you want and do it while you're driving without, uh, without any issues. Um, this vehicle has eight vents for the AC. Now obviously it also has heat, um, and it has eight vents. There's four in the dash, and they're all directional. Then there's two that blow on the windshield. And then there's two down by your feet somewhere that I haven't found yet, um, but they're down there blowing on your feet. Um, so that was pretty smart on Can-Am's part to divert air all the way around the cab. Um, we drove on a super dusty trail. We're the last vehicle in a big lineup uh, and it was crazy dusty and there was no dust in this cab. Uh, that's thanks in part to a new cabin filter that all um, HD10s get. Uh, under the hood here in the front, there's a, a new replaceable cabin filter that's uh, super effective and works great. Um, shifter on this vehicle, standard HD10 shifter, works excellent. It's very smooth, very positive. Um, tilt steering, little storage box down here I thought was kind of cool. It's for your change, like in your car. <laughs> and then the Limited gets, well, this isn't a Limited thing, but... Um, Defenders get the center armrest, which I like, and it's really sturdy. It just feels like a really quality part. Um, I think, personally, that there should be some way to strap it down here so that it can't do this while you're riding. But if you're going to put a cup in there, of you know, coffee cup or something like that, probably you're not going to be going hard enough to be hitting huge bumps and bouncing around, though. To me, it would make a lot of sense to have that. Um, you got an adjustable driver's seat which again is standard HD10 stuff, standard Defender stuff. And then on this side, you know, again, standard flip up seat for massive storage area and the limited includes this little box here. So yeah. What else can I tell you about this thing other than how sweet it is? I will say the one thing it's missing um, and, and jumped out at me immediately was that there's no rear view mirror. And to me, a limited model should have a rear view mirror. It should just come with it. I missed it big time when I was driving and really wanted it. Uh, it does have a windshield wiper on the windshield, which I think is, uh, you know, it's pretty mandatory. If you're going to have a glass windshield, you got to have a 
uh, intermittent, intermittent wiper. Um, this new roof though system is super nice. Really, really well finished. Comes with mounts for your speakers and your stereo. Another thing I kind of feel like the limited should come with, um, but it's all there ready to go and it's nice and quiet. Um, they worked really hard on sound to make this thing quiet. Um, so another little bit of information about the AC system that's interesting is it's a variable compressor and that's unlike anything else in its in in its class right now um, and the reason they did that is because it puts less strain on the motor um, when you don't need full power air conditioning so let's say it's let's say it's a little bit cool out you just want to cool things off a little bit it's not super hot out the ac compressor won't run at full power the way others do where they always run at full power and that doesn't sap as much um, horsepower to your motor uh, to run the compressor. The other thing it does is it allows the system to run more efficiently at lower RPM. So what Can-Am has found through their own research, and it sounded pretty legit, is that uh, the majority of people who use their AC are using it under 4,000 RPM. Or I guess using their, their cab model or whatever heat and cooling in their cab model, they're, they're using under 4,000 RPM. So uh, they, what they realized is they needed to make a system that worked efficiently under 4,000 RPM. And when you have a non-variable compressor, it spins fast as the, as the motor spins fast, and, and it requires the motor to be spinning faster to get full power. So um, this one doesn't, and that's a pretty smart move on Can-Am's part, I think. It's like a car. Your car has a variable compressor. All cars do. So, um, last little nugget, I guess, this is the front end of this thing. Um, the bumper is standard on the limited model, as again, the winch is. Uh, it's a pretty trick looking bumper, has light mounts built in. And then we got these neat looking accent lights. Everybody got, everybody's got accent lights these days, right here. It's not nighttime, so you're not seeing them glow, but they do look pretty mean. The nose of this vehicle looks pretty mean too. It actually looks better, in my opinion, without the bumper, um, but it, it does look uh, pretty tough. They've done a great job with it. So there you go. That's a uh, first look at the HD10 Limited, the Defender Limited HD10. And uh, I'm, I'm super impressed. We've spent some time on this thing already. And man, it really works good. It works exactly how they said it would. The extra horsepower is immediately, immediately noticeable. Uh, it looks just like a tough vehicle. Love the wheels. Um, overall design is incredibly intelligent. Um, in terms of design and physical features from the outside, I will say that I do think the doors should have color integration somewhere in them only because they look like an add-on and they're not an add-on on this vehicle. They are factory. So I think if you buy an HD 10 limited, there should be some sort of uh, color on the door in this area just to match it with the silver in the front and the back. That would make a lot of sense to me. Other than that though, I think it, it's super tough, super well thought out. I like everything about it. So if you guys have any questions or anything, feel free to post them down below and I'll do my best to get back to you and answer them. Um, but there you go. There's your first look at the Defender HD 10. Um, stay tuned for more. We got uh, lots more content coming for you guys on YouTube. Um, definitely like and subscribe to our videos so you can get updates as we, uh, as we load new videos sometimes every other day. So yeah, you don't want to miss out on that stuff. Thanks a lot for watching guys. Thanks for watching Dirt Tracks TV. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button and leave us a comment. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. And if you want to be notified of future updates, make sure you turn the bell on. Thanks for watching.